Hello friends, greetings from Iceland, good news from the eruption site, the fissure which is uh, down close to the city, the southernmost fissure stopped and does not emit lava anymore. This is the final view of the lava intrusion into Grindavik city. Only three houses got destroyed, burned by the lava as you see and that's it. So it's kind of really good for the residents of Grindavik. Grindavik for now, but situation might change because earthquakes are ongoing and we had over 600 earthquakes since midnight, but the eruption didn't stop, the lava keeps coming from the craters further north, from the upper fissure, from the northernmost fissure, there are still two small craters emitting lava, but activity subsided significantly. So I do not think there is a threat to Grindavik in the current condition if a uh, volcano keeps subsiding uh, but you never know we might see new fish fishes forming up uh, and since the earthquakes are ongoing uh, a new fish might pop up and god knows where but for now this is a good news as you see lava stopped right here burnt a few houses and that's it uh, you see those houses which on google maps were shown in construction they are indeed in construction there are no houses there are three um, or four building lots uh, with no houses so all those houses here in our hope neighborhood are new ones constructed recently so only we lost only three houses and uh, that's good news for the residents of Grindavik in fact the cars which were parked right a bit further there one next to one of those houses survived it uh, they didn't experience any harm so this is really really good news uh, from Iceland that the southern fish just stopped it it had been re reported uh, this morning at five o'clock in the morning uh, there came first reports that the southern fish does not emit lava anymore and it had been confirmed also by Icelandic media Icelandic newspapers Vizir.is also published an article about this. So let's take a look at the northernmost fissures. Came from Iceland right now when I'm publishing this video. As you see, I know lava is coming into the city. The craters, uh, the furthermost south craters, all uh, went down, subsided. No activity at all, zero activity. The town is safe from this fissure which used to emit lava uh, to the south, it's dead, no activity there whatsoever. This is the final view of this area, only three houses are burned. But let's check the other live cam. Hello friends again, greetings from Iceland. Uh, here you see the view towards the east from Thorbjörn's volcano, where I have a live cam. And as you see here at the bottom right corner, volcano is still erupting, you can see there the glow, but activity is very small, it producing very small amounts of lava, uh, which does not uh, pose uh, much threat to Grindavik if it keeps flowing at this tempo, or decreasing tempo, decreasing speed uh, every day. So I think this eruption tended to be not so bad as most of people imagine it, that the entire town would be destroyed by lava and many houses will burn, but at least the lava wall did its work. Many houses got saved from the destruction thanks to the lava berm, which had been constructed, uh, you can say, in the last days, just before the eruption. It was a very good idea. And uh, thanks to the uh, workers who did this, project uh, we saved the town the town is saved um, we have to say what is going to happen next because earthquakes are ongoing and we don't know really how long this small volcano uh, can go on but it might last for some days and but they keep constructing the lava wall and i will show you how this is going how it was going on yesterday and hopefully they will manage to uh, take over the lava flows um, to redirect them in the desert desired directions Let's take a look 
This is the view over the lava wall which is being constructed while the volcano erupts. You see lava is moving along the lava wall and at one point close to the highway it went over the lava wall but the flow kind of fossilized, petrified on the way and it didn't manage to keep going that direction. So most of the lava had been flowing along the wall. Now most of this lava cooled it down. It's not hot anymore. This is the view from yesterday and this is how it looked like yesterday. How people had been working in immense heat, very close to the lava, in very tough conditions, challenging conditions, being um, pushed by the lava in much hurry. Excavators, three excavators and bulldozer had been uh, doing the work. Two bulldozers, also trucks were coming constantly with the with the rocks to build uh, the wall. But now they have more time as the lava moves much slower. There is much less output of lava um, every hour, very little output. So, on my opinion, it looks to be safe for now. The town is safe. Thanks God, perhaps. So thanks to some prayers, I think many people prayed for this volcano to stop, including me. And uh, you see, you work it out. You see, all houses are saved, cities are saved, but you never know what is going to happen next, of course. So, but let's pray for the bad fortunes of Grinda. We can wish peace and safety to the residents of Grinda and to everybody who is watching this video. Uh, all the best to you and greetings from Iceland. I see in Chile, Iceland also very hot Iceland. <laughs>